back to the show. Is this a show? Are we calling this a show now? I think so. Let's call it a show. Welcome back to the show. If you're like me and you do a lot of content for specific brands or even yourself, you have custom fonts and colors and sizes that you use on the regular day in, day out for your videos. The problem is, is every time you put those in, you have to adjust those settings to get the things that you like, right? You have to adjust the font, you have to adjust the size and the colors. Well, what if you could just set it up so that those popped up as a default title every single time? using a keyboard shortcut. Now there's two ways you can set this up. One is if you have Apple Motion, the app, well, we're gonna use that to change some of the defaults, but if you don't have that, it's totally okay. We can set up the defaults. You're just gonna to have to have one little extra click in the end to get your final result. Not a big deal. So first we'll do this without Apple Motion. So we're gonna hit Control T to bring up our basic title. Boom, there it is. Now, see here it is, it's all boring and blah, blah, blah. So let's change our font. Let's say I want to go down here and change this to this Karmatic Arcade. And I want to change the size up a bit. And then I also want to change my color. So we're going to go down, we're going to change our color to this lovely blue. Boom, there it is. There is the font that I'm going to be using all the time, most of the time. Now, in order to save this, what we're going to do is go up here to these this top section and you can see it just says normal and as your font there we're going to click on that and we're going to go down where it says save format attributes save appearance attributes and save all format and appearance attributes format attributes is just the size and the font itself it doesn't change the colors or any sort of 3d effects that you have added to the font if you've done that now the appearance attributes are those things it's the the style it's the color it's the any sort of 3d elements you've added to it but it is not the size and the font so what you want to do is save all format and appearance attributes. And when you click that, it's going to pull up this little box here in the center and it's going to give you a chance to name it. We're just going to name this arcade blue, hit save and boom. Now, when you go up here, click on this, you can see we have our arcade blue preset. So how do we activate that? Well, let's go back to our control T. Now you can see it just brought up our basic title again, but now we can go up here to the top, click, scroll down, hit arcade blue, boom, changed it. Easy peasy. Now let's do this using Apple Motion. And this is actually my preferred method because in the end result is actually faster and truly is a one click solution to custom title. So here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna go over here to our title, sections over here and we're going to find where it says basic title because basic title is what comes up with our keyboard shortcut we're going to click on right click on that and just hit open copy in motion that's going to open up motion for us all right so here's our basic title now what i'm going to do is go up here i'm going to click on the title layer itself i'm going to go over to the inspector under format i'm going to change my font i'm going to go down to my chromatic arcade and Apple Motion is laid out a little weird. We need to click on appearance to get to our colors. Now I'm gonna click the color that I want. Boom, and there it is. We have changed our title, font, and the color. Now I'm set and ready to go. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up here to file and save as. Doing save as, and this is where we're gonna name it. I'm just gonna name it Arcade Blue. And it'll ask you what category you wanna save it in. So if you already have some custom categories, you can choose wherever you want to save it. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it in bumper and opener. And then I'm gonna hit publish. And there you go. And close motion, and that's it. Now if we go back into Final Cut Pro and we look under titles, it should automatically show up. If it doesn't automatically show up, just click out into something else like your media files or music or something like that and then go back to titles and then you should have it showing up in your titles. Okay, so here it is, here's my arcade. I can drag this down and you can see, boom, there's my title, just like we set up before. Now, here's how we're gonna set this up as our keyboard shortcut. So we'll go back up to our arcade blue and our titles, right click, hit make default title. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Now go back on down to your timeline, hit control T and 
think how much time that right there is gonna save you. No more having to go back into the inspector window every single time you want, you need to use your custom font or your colors or your sizing. None of that. Control T, boom, you're set. You're welcome. And now let's, uh, 